So we won the award for the work we've been doing with the Royal Melbourne Hospital to make a replacement ear for a patient who lost that some 50 years ago. We used 3D printing and 3D modeling technology to produce a template of the ear and the clinicians then went on to produce a final silicon prosthesis from that template. So the work we're doing is really important because there's so many limitations at the moment in the way that they make prosthesis. Uh, the primary one being the ability to replicate the patient's own anatomy and then use that to form the prosthesis. So we get a better size, better fit, and overcome a lot of the time constraints as well in producing the prosthesis. So the technology itself is fairly generic in the sense that we can apply it to any part of the anatomy. What we do is we take medical imaging data and also optical surface scans of a patient. And from that, we can make anything from implantable bone replacement devices, prosthetics, cosmetic devices, or even rehabilitation devices, all of which we're examining at the moment. I believe that the work we've done for the prosthetics could easily be translated as a robust methodology for prosthesis production for the future and in fact we're engaging the Royal Melbourne Hospital on that front to make this uh, a standard within the hospital which could then be a benchmark for the rest of the world on how we could proceed to the next level of prosthetic development and so we hope in the following months or years to procure more funds to take the projects to the next level. Uh, we also believe as well that the potential for this could serve to reinvigorate the manufacturing scene in Geelong and provide new job opportunities for, for the local residents here.